Hello, very dear students and uh, my audience on YouTube channel. Uh, this is once again Dr. Zia Ahmed and today we shall be talking in this short video about the short story Mustache by Tariq Rahman. This is being recorded for the benefit of my BS students as well as for anyone who wants to get benefit out of that. So Mustache by Tariq Rahman. First of all, let's talk about Tariq Rahman. He's a very prolific writer as well as the great scholar of Pakistan. He has written a number of books on languages and the working of languages in Pakistan. Along with that is a short story writer. One of the best uh, short story bingo by him is of world renown. Same is the case with Mustache. And he has also written a very great book, uh, History of Pakistani Literature. When he wrote this book at that time, such a book was not available. And I'm personally the very big beneficiary of this book. So thank you, Dr. Tariq Rahman, for writing such a marvelous material. And I'll come to his short story, Mustache. As the word Mustache goes to indicate that it is about the growth of the hair on the upper lips of men, uh, this has got special significance in number of cases, like in our village culture, which actually Tariq Rahman means to address to, the having of moustache, rather big moustache, stylized moustache, cut moustache, or uh, inverted, converted, or moved upward moustache is very important. It is thought to be the symbol of some manhood, and it's thought to be the symbol of beauty of man, and it's also thought to be some symbol of the authority of man as well. But on the other hand, moustache have been the type of thing which was quite common among the post-colonial administrators as well as some of the dictators who also had the moustache, though in Western and American areas these days, moustache is not kept in that way as it used to be in the 20th century or in the 19th century. But let's restrict ourselves to the importance of moustache in the Pakistani Punjabi village culture, though moustache is very important in all Pakistani cultures like it is important in Sindhi, in uh, KPK, Gilgit, Baltistan, and it's also important in Balochistan, of course, along with the beard the people grow, but in Punjab, having moustache and possibly not having beard is more important. Now, this short story has got two parts, as it plays the two, uh, you know, generations involved in raising the moustache and having beautiful moustache. First of all, it is Dadu. Uh, who has got the big beautiful moustache. He is not only beautiful in his moustache but also in his body. So he is a kind of resistance to the Chaudhary of the village because Chaudhary also has the beautiful moustache and he cannot bear that someone who is not a Chaudhary of the village who is considered inferior to him should have the moustache like that and boast of the moustache like that as well. This is a clear case of post-nonialism because the powerful would not like the less powerful to have the similar kind of appearance or similar kind of designs of life. So that is why Chaudhary comes forward and gets him bitten and ultimately Dadu is no more in this world. The second generation is Shavkat, Dadu's next generation. Uh, that person is also equally beautiful and he is given the indication that if he joins army, he would be having power with him, he would be able to have moustache. So he joins the powerful institution. But even this powerful institution could not lend him that power as you be. Because at certain occasion, people want to get favors from the patwari of the village and they so go to the uh, place where where Shafkat is uh, situated or placed and Shafkat is though very beautiful young man having beautiful moustache having a very good personality impressive personality is residing with an army officer in his house and when the people reach there they find that he is washing dishes and the officer and his wife are ridiculing him so in that way once again one can say that in the powerful institution also the similar kind of treatment was done to him but may not be the powerful institution is responsible but the thinking of the people who had gone him to bring to talk to Patwari, they think that if this gentleman is having this type of status in the house of an army man how then he could be helpful to them so in this way one can see that the moustache, who is the symbol of honor, symbol of beauty, symbol of power, is losing all these all these metaphors when this symbol travels down towards the lower classes. And so it has got the importance also associated with the richer class, upper class, and the powerful class. So once again, it is the case of post nihilism because the good thing of the rich would be supported and appreciated, and the good thing in, in the lower inferior class would not be appreciated. 
So in that way, the Punjabi culture is highlighted through the symbol of these mustaches. And by telling the story in two generations, the writer has extended that this thing is not available in just one generation. It is perpetual, it's permanent, and it can cause the damage to the people who try to imitate their masters. So imitation of the masters becomes a significant theme in the story because one is able to look at the masters, look at his beauty and to see what kind of beautiful person he is going to be, can appreciate him as well. But to imitate him is the type of mimicry and that can result in the uh, defeat, in the destruction or in the insult of the postmonial subject as well. So that is why uh, the story goes to indicate in a very good way what happens. In the same way, uh, Punjabi culture uh, as the progress or the, uh, you can say, qualities of post-colonial literature refer to that they uh, tend to describe 50% the representations or the descriptions of the local culture and the local people. So this story also celebrates the local culture of having mustache and of having beauty, even in the inferior class people, that beauty is being talked about. So tradition and culture of the local people is being represented. So that is why, once again, this short story is going to be post on here also. And the main theme, therefore, is going to be the physical appearance, the beauty of the man, and then the uh, kind of mustache with which the representation of the power may be made. Same is the case with the, you know, ironical patterns in this story. The irony is that, that the thing which lends power to a high class person cannot lend the same power to the low class person. Even if a low class person thinks that he may be able to have a similar power, that is a post subject thinks to have that kind of power, that's an irony because he will never be allowed to have that as Dadu is not allowed. Same is the case with the, with the next generation hero, that is Shafkat. He too uh, has the mustache and apparently it's believed that this type of mustache, this type of personality would be definitely very beautiful and good and impressive also and would be carrying certain uh, symbol of power, a uh, certain authority as well. But as soon as the villagers see him, they see that he's simply washing the dishes and all of a sudden his status descends down from a powerful person to a powerless person or a serving person or a slave person. So in that way, irony of situation, irony of the words, irony of the concepts that is also available in the story. And then if we proceed a little bit further, we can see that uh, the style and thought of uh, the, the writer is very beautiful. It's very easy. The language has been used very easy. All the words and the chosen sentences and the narrative as a whole goes to represent the Pakistan English. Uh, the styles of Pakistan English, it's no more difficult, it doesn't carry the Western idiom, it simply carries the Eastern idiom or, or the Pakistani idiom with which the Pakistani readers can understand the story very well and very effectively. So in this way, language and style of the writer is very beautiful and he has tried to teach this thing uh, to the people in such a way that in both the generations, the contrasting generations are available, the young generation, the old generation, through these two generations he tries to teach the theme that it's no use of carrying or thinking of the beauty in uh, that can reside in in the in the lower classes is not possible at all. Uh, Tariq Rahman is of habitual of describing the people uh, by giving us the view of the two sections of the society, one that is the higher section, powerful section, another that is the lower section. He compares and contrasts in the context of the culture and the tradition of the Punjab or that of the Pakistan as a whole. In the same way, if we proceed further, the characterization is very beautiful because Dadu is a very impressive character on the one hand, but on the other hand, he's a challenging character to the Chaudhary as well. He is challenging, he is a resistant character in the sense that he too tries to do the same thing which Chaudhary does and tries to claim the same power, but however, that in the word structures or post colonial structures, it's not possible, and that is why he is unable to have a similar power and rather loses his life. And then same condition can be uh, applied to Shapkat as well. He too uh, is a beautiful person. The physical beauty is there. The, the kind of appearance is there that it makes him really interesting. But the same uh, doesn't meet the required standards and expectations of the people. So that is why although it's not doing a job which may be called derogatory job. No, it is not the case. The case is that expectation of the people from the cultural symbols like mustache do not uh, fulfill the required criterion. And that is why he's also ridiculed. So in that type, two type of beautiful characters have been presented by the writer. Uh, the whole argument can be summed up by saying that this is the short story which conveys the Punjabi culture, which tries to talk about the people's expectations from the higher cultural symbols and which also talks about the ironical situation that higher cultural symbols after the post colonial have lost their importance and that is why they are no more of use but yes if you want to keep your cultures alive you can have these symbols but you cannot claim power on the basis of these symbols 
In the same way, uh, Tariq Rahman has contributed a lot into developing Pakistani literature by writing his short stories, by talking about the language, and by writing history of English literature. So let us conclude the whole thing by saying that the story is although short, but it is very large canvas which conveys to us the picture of Pakistani village culture, especially that of the Punjabi culture. So. That's it from me for this day. Hope to see you in some next video. Hopefully, my students and audience will be benefiting from this. Uh, and if you like it, do not fail to subscribe, hit button, and then hit button like as well. Give your comments if you want to. Uh, I sometimes take care of the comments and maybe answering to them as well. So thank you. See you in some next video.